Okay folks, simple. This is what I take, what I did take to a skirmish type indoor CQB single day airsoft game. I got my first gun in 2006, so I've been playing a long time, collecting a long time. This is uh, not necessarily what you need. This is more than what you need to play the game. If you're a new player, you don't need all of this stuff. <clears throat> this is what I've built up to over a long time. Uh, this is what I take. I've never had a problem. I always find I'm comfortable. I have what I need. Never had to go home early through uh, equipment failures or lack of kit, anything like that, which is something you do see quite often. So we'll go around and uh, yeah, this is what I take. I'm not going to go into the specific items because that would be too long. I'm just going to say what I take, uh, if that makes any sense. So boots, If make sure you check your sight rules. Some of them require ankle support, like the uh, last place I booked at. So I've got higher boots. You obviously make sure, similar to iPro, uh, footwear, your boots, shoes, whatever, they have to be good. Otherwise, you're going to slip and slide. You're going to twist an ankle, break something gotta have good boots obviously enough bbs of a quality brand of suitable for whatever gun you're using speed loader to load your magazines i usually i've got a spare in my gun bag as well i i run quite small batteries small capacity so i've got three of those i have a bag full of spare stuff so we've got over the years these are things i've forgotten and they're small lightweight items so i bring two uh, a bunch of spare lenses for my ipro goggle lenses that's probably the most important spare you can bring spare gloves watch cover anti-fog spare sling in case i forget it Spare cap, because I always, always wear a cap. That all lives in this little bag, doesn't weigh much. Just comes with me every time, that same spare stuff. That stuff works with pretty much all my other kit. My Ear Pro lives in a little bag, because it's an expensive pair of Peltors. So, little bag for it. Outside I've got oil that goes inside the propane. Uh, propane, unlike green gas, doesn't have any silicon oil, so a bit of uh, oil to go in that. Pros over here, obviously, but there's a protective bag for it inside the bag. Plenty of spare batteries. The Peltors take two batteries, so I've got those in there. I run fan goggles, so I've got a spare battery for that. Got some batteries that work in most optics, lasers, uh, flashlights. Those are the main ones, so we've got spares of those. And then actual spare Ear Pro, so simple. So these are the Surefire Sonic Defenders. These are the smallest, lightest uh, ear pro that I have found where you can protect your ears from most uh, loud noises, pyrotechnics in the case of airsoft, uh, but you can still hear decently in terms of your general hearing and hearing what's going on. So these weigh a few grams and they just live in the ear pro bag. Water either on you or if you're playing short games as I usually do, that stays back in the safe zone. I need to drink plenty between every single game. I've got a three litre bladder there. I'll have another litre bottle on me, in the car, in the bag, whatever it is. Water is vital. The number of people who just drink energy drinks at Airsoft is insane to me. Clothing, you have to get your layers right, folks. You've got to get your layers right. This is just a combat shirt. You know, have your morale patches, have your, you know, nice, comfortable combat shirt. But, you know, if it's cold, make sure you lay it up. If it's hot, make sure you're wearing the minimum that just protects you from the sun. Simple as that. I tend to go with a combat shirt with a plate carrier because obviously that makes sense. But, you know, you just pick your combinations of clothing and kit based on the temperatures and, and what you need to carry and what's comfortable for you. And, of course, what you have. So combat shirt, good solid pair of trousers, 
ideally with some kind of integrated knee protection versus having to wear separate knee pads they always fall down good socks we've got some first beer merino wool socks seems minor and to be honest granted if it's short airsoft games yeah you can get away with you know more basic everyday stuff but as you build up it's better to have the good things uh Varistalika, finish camo uh cool max base shirt the base layers are vital gotta have a wicking base layer uh british uh so the t-shirts i've been issued over the years are really wicking and i just wear them all the time and that is basically the same as a british issued t-shirt in this instance plate carrier with a placard spiritus insert uh, the plate carrier has four mid caps on it three in the placard got one back here got a gp pouch for literally whatever you can you know people forget you can put magazines smoke grenades anything in gp pouch generally what i have in one of the two gps is my phone wallet car key so i can keep them safe on me maybe spare gloves maybe some kind of uh, small snood or something like that as i mentioned this is kit for an indoor game so electronic ear pro so i can hear what's going on but also when someone chucks uh blank firing grenades cardboard grenades disposable pyro whatever it is in really small concrete rooms you will get hearing damage from that stuff going on going off in close proximity so i wear hearing protection i get hearing tests every year in my job and the fact is hearing never heals so protect it sidearm get a good one tokyo <clears throat> tokyo marui gas pistols and have to mention holster this is only black hawk but it's it's the retention on it is solid and reliable you've got to have good retention on the pistol and it mustn't press your magazine release button as a lot of the cheap fabric ones do go to the belt line two-part belts are great but not entirely necessary way to attach the holster i like dump pouches airsoft mags are weak uh, and expensive compared to real ones i've got a double mag pouch uh, spiritus spud in this case that that can either be four mags or in this case the blank firing grenades in there i've got a trmr the three shot base on it for indoors Definitely cheaper in the long run to have a blank fire grenade than use disposable pyro, but you have to be careful where you throw them. That will knock someone out if you if you lob it and it catches them on the head. Speed reload, rifle mag pouch, a couple of pistol mag pouches, standard stuff. Always have two guns that share the same magazines. That's how I've always been, that's how I've been going to games for like 10 years. I always do that. I've never had a never had a time where as long as I test the guns the night before, I've never had a time where I had to go home because both gun because you know both guns broke me. If you only have one, you know it might break. If you have two, all right, yeah, sure, they could both break, but the probability goes way down. I like TM recoils. I've been using them forever. Uh, on the gun, the main things you need to have are if it's indoors, like like this game was, a light for the dark areas, some way to aim. And you need ways to attach your sling same here got a light got an optic good like good slings are so vital as well um i've seen people's cheap slings literally drop their guns straight onto concrete and smash their guns i had a an airsoft sling no, it was an airsoft qd swivel going to an airsoft qd attachment point and it just dropped the gun so if I'm using QDs I only use real firearm parts uh, best to just use like BFG uber loops uh, just simple one inch slings just threaded through with tri-glides the simple real slings are rugged as hell they will not ever break and they're way cheaper than trying to get like a uh, Magpul MS3 or a Haley or something with QDs like a Blue Force gear with QDs or whatever Gotta have a good sling.
something I forgot to say with the plate carrier, for goodness sake, make sure the shoulder straps are short enough that the top of the plate on the front plate bag sits in line with where your collarbones meet in the middle uh, and the rear bag isn't too low because that is the most common thing with airsofters and it looks terrible. So if you want to look cool, adjust the plate carrier properly, put some foam plates in it, don't wear weighted plates, they're a terrible idea by CrossFit idiots. So get that adjusted properly, get your belt fitting properly in the right place so it doesn't shift around. Don't wear your holster too low, classic one. And that is that folks, just watching. Social media links down in the description, check them out. And uh, I'll see you next time.